COVID has me feeling like a bag of dicks, but how are you? Did you know the start method can actually be a co-routine? Unity is smart enough to call it properly for you. It can also be an async method if that's more your style. If you have some logic which needs to run before anything else, or you'd like to generate persistent objects, you can use runtime initialize on load method attribute. Decorate any method with this attribute and it'll now run without the need to attach it to an object. Be aware though, by default, it won't be called before objects in your scene call awake. If you want it to be called before anything else, change its type to before scene load. Now, as you can see, it calls first, followed by each service's awake function that I spawn, then finally objects which are already in the scenes awake. Have you ever unknowingly broken an animation or imported an animation which didn't perfectly fit your rig? As you can see here, my animation expects an object called center circle, but my actual hierarchy is using circle. Sure, I could change the hierarchy, but it's unlikely you'll want to change your rig object's names just for some random animation. You can simply rename the key name on the animation. You can easily inspect your unserialized read-only values in the inspector by entering debug mode. I use this all the time and I'm sure you will too. Lastly, if you don't know how to debug in Unity, do yourself a favor and watch this video. It'll make you a far better programmer. I'll be releasing a video on Quaternions very shortly. If you finally want to understand how the hell they work, subscribe now so you don't miss out.